So guys, this beautiful view and this beautiful place deserves what? A nice sparkling glass of rosé. It's so refreshing over here. The jolt, bam, you need to awake, get away after uh, drinking that cappuccino because the food was not heavy. How beautiful this place is. This is such a beautiful, beautiful space. You can see from behind. Hi guys, welcome to another video from New York City. So today, okay. I'm gonna to go to Ritz Carlton over here, Ritz Nomad, this hotel. So basically starting a new series covering all the luxury hotels of New York and what to eat, what to do inside. So Nomad is the first one, Ritz Nomad is the first one we'll be covering. So let's go and let's have some fun guys. So guys, entering the Ritz Carlton Nomad. Yes. What a beautiful entrance. Wow, look at the entrance. What a beautiful, beautiful entrance in the lobby over here. It's just fabulous. Let's take a quick tour of the lobby. And later on, we're gonna go to the rooftop bar. I've gotta made a reservation so that I can show you how the rooftop bar looks like. But now, we're gonna to go to this restaurant called hi guys <laughs> as you can see very friendly staff over here look at how beautiful this place is but we're gonna go and check out this place called Zetinia it's a Middle Eastern place so this is Zetinia and how beautiful this place is so this is a restaurant by Jose Andres um, one of the most famous chefs and it's Turkish, it's Middle Eastern, it's Lebanese cuisine. It's really fabulous. So let's try it out. So guys, this is such a beautiful, beautiful space. You can see from behind. And uh, I'm going to be ordering some brunch, some drinks, and I'll take you along this journey. Look at the fluffy bread over here. It looks so beautiful. I'm very sure it's yummy too. Wow, look at the nice glass of kava. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Let's taste this. Mm. This is fantastic. So it's a, uh, it's kava. It's actually a Spanish sparkling wine. That's what this kava is. So Italians are prosecco. Champagne is French. Kava is Spanish, and it's beautiful. Very refreshing. So this is the brunch menu. You have this egg el camino, and of course the famous shakshuka. This is minimen, Greek style omelette, heel beer, olive oil pancakes, and our style. This is very, very uh, kind of a Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, Turkish mix to everything. So, can't wait for the food. So guys, this is a Turkish dish with yogurt and eggs. It's called silver, very famous dish. And this is a really fancy one. It's called El Camino or something like that. It's also with egg, yogurt, eggs, with kind of flowers, and this kind of this fluffy things. So we're gonna eat, and I'm gonna tell you how it is. So guys, trying out the El Camino. Let's see how it is. It looks good. Very interesting. The egg and the yogurt combination is out of this world. It's very, very different than what I've ever tasted. So amazing. I've, I've already shown the menu. So whenever you are here, definitely try this. Fantastic. So now I'm going to try this famous Turkish dish. Let's see how that this is. By the way, it's a specialty for this in this restaurant. Mm. The yogurt, the egg yolk, and it has got some spice in it. It's just fantastic. Guys, just check out this beautiful, beautiful space. Just love it. The restaurant is fantastic, and the service is even better. Jose Andres has outdone himself. So 
guys after the great meal I'm gonna order some uh, Greek yogurt with apricots as dessert and a cappuccino so look at the dessert menu over here they've got really fantastic stuff they've got the Greek yogurt with apricots there's a uh, called Isla cake it's a Turkish chocolate cake then they have I cannot even uh, something bureko galato bureko it's a semolina custard this is also greek of course kenafe the most famous lebanese jordan you will get it everywhere in uh, in the middle east even in turkey and of course kaimak it's a pine nut cake and i think this is more middle, uh, more turkish not sure but i ordered a cappuccino and the greek yogurt with the apricots so i'll tell you guys as soon as it arrives how it tastes so cannot wait and the culinary journey continues This coffee. Let's see how it is. This nice cappuccino. Mm. Nice and creamy, and it's strong. The jolt, bam! You need to awake, get awake after uh, drinking that cappuccino because the food was not heavy, but not on the not on the lighter side as well. The eggs and yogurt kind of makes you feel a little bit, you know, tired and droopy after brunch. So this coffee wakes you up. Mm. Fantastic cappuccino. Wow, look at this yogurt. It has got kind of an ice cream on top and this caramelized uh, stuff. Let's eat and let's check out how it is. Alright guys, moment of truth. I think it's passion fruit on top. Mm. Wow, it's really really good and it has got some sprinkling of pistachio on top, it's really good. The ice cream with the yogurt, it's just fabulous and it's Greek yogurt so it's very creamy, very thick and they have some passion fruit inside as well. Excellent guys. I definitely recommend this Greek yogurt if you come over here. So guys, uh, the bill just came. As I said, it's not cheap, but it's not that expensive. So the eggs El Camino was 19 bucks. The silver was actually very cheap, $15. The cappuccino was a little expensive, I would say seven bucks. The kava was 18. Covers usually go for 15 to 18 dollars in a place like this. It's not too bad. So all in all, I think it's very reasonable and you should definitely come over here because it's a five star restaurant and it costs about a three star restaurant place. So definitely, definitely come to this place. It's definitely recommended. Zetinia, I'm gonna put a link below. And the food is excellent and so is the service. So guys, taking the elevator all the way to the rooftop. The place is called Dube Luz and it's another Jose Andres restaurant and bar. Let's check it out guys. We are still in Ritz Nomad. I'm loving this place. There you go. Wow. Look at this. So this is the rooftop bar. Look at how beautiful this bar is. And this is the lounge area. It gets very crowded. You need a reservation to come over here. Otherwise, they won't let you come in, unfortunately. So that is downtown Manhattan. That's the Manhattan skyline. There's the Freedom Tower. That's New Jersey on that side. So let's check this place out, guys. What a beautiful place. What a beautiful property is this. And during summer, you can be sitting outside over here. I'll come over here during summer also and do a series, but it's just a fabulous place. Wow, this is just fantastic. 
Sí. So guys, this beautiful view and this beautiful place deserves what? A nice sparkling glass of rosé. It's so refreshing over here. So let's try it out guys. Cheers. It's amazing. It's just amazing to sit over here, watch this beautiful view and drink this beautiful glass of sparkling rosé. This is heaven guys. Wow. That's amazing. So Nebula's is another Jose Andres restaurant slash bar. It's actually a bar more than a restaurant but you will get some finger food etc over here. And uh, it was opened up I think about December time frame. So it's very new. It's February of 2023 today. So December of 2022 is when it opened up. And Jose Andres being Jose Andres, he has just made this super grand. It's one of the best establishments to come to the city. So I'm gonna put a link below. Definitely, definitely visit Nebulas. But one tip, please, please, please book in advance because usually it's very hard to get it. But you can go to any online reservation system and book this place. It opens at 4 p.m. every day. It's a must visit if you're in the city. I mean, why won't you visit with this kind of view? Tell me, right? So, thank you for watching, as always, and hope you're loving these videos. So guys, just chilling over here, just having a great time. The music is great. The views are great, the bar, the bar looks amazing over there. So guys, this is the lobby bar. How beautiful it is, check it out. Look at this ceiling, those lights. This is fabulous. It's just the decor is gorgeous. This is also a Jose Andres bar. Although it's part of the Ritz, but it's managed by Jose Andres. Wow, guys, look at this bar. This is the Ritz Nomad. This is also managed by Jose Andres. So they have got three places that's managed by Jose Andres. This bar, the Tinia, and the Nebulas that we went before. And this is a fantastic place. So we're gonna go and have some drinks and tell you guys how it is. But look at this place. Wow, look at this hallway. Everything is so meticulously done. Look at this artwork. This is just beautiful. I love this hotel. I love what Jose Andres has done. And of course, it's the Ritz. So as grand as they get. I just love this place, guys. And I'm so glad that I can share with you. I hope you're enjoying this with me. Beautiful place, what else do you need? Cheers guys. So if you're liking my videos, you know what to do. Just please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And please do not forget to hit the bell icon because I'm coming up with a lot of new videos and you will get notified as soon as the video is released. So thank you so much for watching and always I appreciate the support that you show me. Thank you so much. So guys, uh, the overall experience at all these Jose Andres restaurants, whether it's Zaitinia, whether it's this bar, or whether it's the rooftop bar has been just fabulous. The staff has been fantastic. Everything has been great. So 
The way it works over here is the restaurants and the bars are managed by Jose Andres, but the hotel and the hotel lobby is of course Ritz and Ritz management. So just, I wanted to note because I've been always very, very honest with my reviews and my criticisms and my praises is Ritz hotel security is not very friendly. They came and asked me to stop filming because, but I was only filming myself. But as soon as I went to the Jose Andres' restaurant, I had talked to the manager and said, can I film? He's like, absolutely, just go for it. Because we encourage that. We encourage you know people filming and talking about us. So I love that I, because it, it, I, I totally understand when people come and stop you. If you're filming somebody else and, and, and encroaching into others' privacy, but when you're filming yourself, I don't think people should stop. But in general, Jose Andres and Jose Andres' restaurants and the management and the staff has been just fabulous. Ritz was kind of a little bit disappointed in the, how, the way they came and you know, asked me to stop filming. But that's my review of Ritz Nomad and all the restaurants that Jose Andres manages over here. So, big distinction. Ritz, Jose Andres. Jose Andres manages the restaurants and bars. Ritz is the hotel. So, if you guys are over here, just be a, care, a little bit careful when you, you know, if you want to film within the lobby of the hotel, they will probably come and stop you. But just go to any of the restaurants and, and film it. They are very encouraging. They say tag us, you know, on Instagram, TikTok, wherever, on YouTube. So everything was great. So hope you're enjoying this journey with me. So this is not the only, you know, luxury hotel that I'll be going to. I'll be I'll be, I'm starting the series to cover all the great luxury hotels in Manhattan and Brooklyn and in Queens and I'm going to show you exactly what these hotels have to offer. I'm not taking you to any of the rooms but I'm covering the restaurants and the bar scene. So keep on watching and if you like it and if you have any comments as far as like which other hotels you want to see, please write a comment below. Thank you so much. I'm going to end the video now and hope you're enjoying this series. Cheers.